Hi Libra, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. But this person is represented by King of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Venus, Love, Pluto, Transformation. So very strong, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces in their energy right now. It doesn't have to be their um, sign, but it's the energy that they're in right now. Quite emotional, but someone who holds back a lot. There's a lot of love within this person. You know, very affectionate as a person, but they're, they can also be quite possessive and clingy at times. Though they do try to keep their emotions in control here. With that King of Cups. King of Cups doesn't wear his or her emotions on their sleeve. A deep thinker, for sure. But uh, this person has a strong sex appeal as well. Can come across as a very intriguing um, because they hold back a lot. That can be a bit manipulative at times, is what I'm getting. But overall, their energy is a bit intense right now. But for your physical compatibility, we have 7th house relating, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. A very emotional bond is what I'm getting here. Emotionally, you two are very compatible, but also physically, um, it's, uh, 10 out of 10 for 7th house that talks about partnership so physically um, it's two people on the same page that can really work with each other uh, quite supportive of one another and uh, very emotionally in tune is what is it's interesting because we have cups showing up in your physical sector but in your emotional compatibility we have three major arcana so that's, we'll talk about them getting ahead of myself, but yes, in any of your physical interactions, there's a lot of emotion evolve, involved. But Page of Cups is usually a small offer of love, and Ace of Cups is a seed, so you do have to nurture that seed for it to grow into something more significant. What this person is like intellectually, we have Two of Wands, High Priestess, because of the strong Scorpio influence in this person's energy and High Priestess, they hold back quite a bit. A bit of a, there's a lot they're feeling, but they're trying to keep that hidden for some reason. Um, it could be because they're feeling a lot of jealousy, possessiveness, so they don't want to show that outwardly. But there's a lot of confusion within them. Um, they're a bit indecisive as a person, and they hold back a lot, but quite intuitive as well. So they really do listen to their inner wisdom when making a decision. But for your, both of your intellectual compatibility, we have 8th house, intimacy, Mars, action, 6 of swords, knight of swords. This can be impulsive reactions to one another, um, a lot of heated arguments, um, especially I think one person is uh, really willing to work with the other and smooth things out where the other person is a bit impulsive with their words with Mars as well, so that's action. Um, Six of Swords is someone who would probably think over something before they say it. And Knight of Swords is very forthright, so that could sometimes lead to clashes and a lot of um, power struggles here as well with that 8th house. A lot of compromise needs to be done in this department in order for things to work because I'm seeing two powerful um, energies coming together. This person may like to debate or well, very hasty in their manner of how they communicate. Um, for their emotional sector, we have five of cups, five of wands. So um, this person is disappointed in some aspect. There are a lot of changes going on in their life with Pluto transformation and five, five. Um, so there is some 
emotional conflict or perhaps longing for something, someone, if you two are not speaking, which I was getting in your current energy, um, or two people that have their back turned to each other or doing their own thing, perhaps that is why they're a bit they're very up and down in their emotions and perhaps that is why they're holding back because they don't really know um, what in which direction to move next. Um, but for your emotional compatibility, we have Ascendant, Outlook, 12th House, Surrender, the World, the Sun, the Magician. So this is insane. I don't think any other sign got this in this position. That's three major kind of... So you both have a lot of potential you you're capable of being very very emotionally satisfied with each other but a, an issue i'm seeing in world talks about completion it talks about victory and having it all sun is overall well-being happiness a magician is someone who's quite capable of achieving whatever they want in life so um, emotionally you both have it in you to um, make this work but another for some of you, an issue I'm seeing is one person likes to really um, contemplate, isolate, whereas the other person is more out there, or it can be a bit superficial at times. So perhaps you both may emotionally clash over uh, this issue, but that's for a few of you. But overall, things are looking great in this sector. Um, for your current compatibility, we have Gemini, the Butterfly, Sagittarius, the Voyager, Strength, Ace of Swords, Hanging Man. Um, it's almost as if there's a strong friendship here, which I've seen in your potential outcome as well. But is it that you both are doing your own thing um, and you're not on speaking terms? Because I see... Um, strength is looking towards the past, whereas Hangman is looking towards the future, and in between them is Ace of Swords. So open lines of communication are very important, but this is Ace of Swords is again the beginning. So there's potential here, but you both need to communicate with each other. And things may be a bit stagnant right now with that Hanging Man. Perhaps um, because of distance with that Sagittarius physical distance, that's a possibility too. And a lot of holding back with that strength. Perhaps this person isn't willing to share anything with you, so it leaves you in this hangman position. That is another possibility. Um, for your long-term potential, we have 11th house, 10th house, trine flow, wheel of fortune, knight of pentacles, three of cups, two of swords, page of pentacles, knight of wands strong friendship between you both and the potential outcome um this is an energy that is going anywhere if you um, wish to entertain this um further but things will be flowing well together it could be that you both work together or you can start a business together but there is something with um your reputation and the, the friendship between you both and a very lucky couple with that wheel of fortune we also have Venus in 7th house, so that's um, two people that are very considerate of each other. A lot of warmth between you both, um, a lot of attraction, luck between you both, and also a very good placement for social networking. So perhaps in one way or the other, you both can enhance one another's career. Um, that is a possibility, but very um, fate has some role in this um, connection but also wheel of fortune that talks about a lot of ups and downs um so yes this will this connection will test your patience at times and there is a lot of lessons involved here um but it's almost as if another issue i'm seeing between you both is a lack of trust with that two of swords so that that talks about someone with a blocked heart chakra, but also someone who's um, a bit hesitant to make a decision or feels like they don't have enough information um, to make that decision. But it's almost as if we look at that page of pentacles and how 
they're looking at the knight of wands i'm sensing a bit of annoyance or cautious energy um if you are the page of pentacles there is i don't know it's almost as if when the knight of wands goes out the page of pentacles is a bit weary of what the knight of wands is doing behind their back if that makes sense it doesn't mean that the knight of wands is a bad person knight of wands three of cups though paired together can be player energy um a lot of uh, in and out behavior but your astrological cards are contradicting um your tarot cards in a way but there's it's almost as if one person in your potential outcome will be frustrated um, that they can't control the other person and their behavior so there is also a lot of jealousy involved this person is quite possessive as a person so like that jealousy could be coming from them but really that this we also have venus square uranus so again that talks about on again off again lack of commitment erratic energy so it could be that one of you is unreliable and when what venus if this is venus square uranus sinistry when venus needs love and affection uranus is always nowhere to be found a bit unstable energy but then if we look at venus in seventh house that's one of the best placements for venus to be because seventh house talks about partnerships but also our marriage partner so this is something really listen to your in intuition but for your advice we have conflict i had two cards um, fly out so i couldn't pick one i'll take both of them but we have there's some kind of upset or discord around you an argument or difference of opinion perhaps if you are directly involved choose your words carefully and then we have romance so don't rush a new relationship take the time to get to know each other if you're already coupled show your love in new ways and feel the excitement again so yes there is um a strong emotional connection here but perhaps one person is a bit um too unstable for the other um is the only issue i'm seeing but yes really listen to your intuition in regards to this person um but that is all i have for you libra take care of yourself and i will see you later bye